Welcome to Market Matters. I'm Nadia Hassan together with the Jonathan Gunn who hasn't up and left yet, but we'll have to see with stocks of momentum. Basically, this is by the edge research where they apply an algorithm and see whether the stock will move up or down. So we're looking at this new guy. Well, not new, but uh, it's new to the list. Johor Tin. They actually went already up today by 10% to 1 ringgit and 71. Uh, I think we're kind of agree in here that it's basically a comeback kid story. It had a massive loss last year of 256,000. But if you know anything, that's about break even, isn't it? You know, and it's not in the millions. And today they actually jumped in 7 million. So these guys actually do tins. You know the tins in your condensed milk? That's the guys who make it. So basically, uh, I mean, I, I'm looking at uh, Johor Tin and uh, a lot of their earnings are now actually derived from their F&B business, which they, they do milk powders and uh, other related dairy products. So uh, in terms of this, uh, the, the Johor Tin management actually also did mention that they are actually moving into this uh, milk packaging business, which it expects to generate about 40 million a year in terms of revenue. So uh, we will have to actually look uh, forward and see, but I think this is a good catalyst for the stock. Well, they have forward. had issues though. Mm -hmm. They did have some small contamination through the process line, which when you're mm -hmm. dealing with food, that mm -hmm. leaves a stink on you that you you know will mm -hmm. never kind of get away. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and scale-wise, they're not big like the ones like in FNN. Mm -hmm. You know, FNN who actually are... Mm, made their huge deal, I think, way back in 2007 mm -hmm. in like, you know, uh, milk canning. These guys are the ones who, you know, are doing the smaller fellas. I think, and Forex is going to be the main issue for them. It's going to cost them a bit this year. But uh, we'll, we'll leave that aside for a minute and we'll talk mm -hmm. about a negative momentum stock, which mm -hmm. is actually Pensonic. It is mm -hmm. negative momentum, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it is. So basically, it's uh, down already about 2.52%. Uh, per it's 58 cents. Now this one, they received their best year net profit in May. But oh. unfortunately, um, that was due to land, pro what do you call it, land disposal, which I mm. think, like we we're talking about stock splits, doesn't change anything fundamentally. Right. Uh, Nadia, just to correct you there, I think it's a positive oh, momentum Oh, sorry about stock. that. Yeah. But, the, uh, however, our, our site's been down, so apologize for that. Right. Uh, but uh, of course, on the positive side, uh, the, the company is trading below its book value and some of its assets has, hasn't been uh, revalued for a while, especially this piece of land located in PJ. Um, which the, some of the uh, market talk that I've been reading says that its, it's, it's uh, market value for that piece of land is actually much higher. So the thing is that um, there's not a lot of credibility when you dispose land and you know, it, it should be actually come from the earnings of the company itself. You're, you're saying but, they don't have street cred? Yeah, basically. Do you I, really need to get a tattoo saying I love well, one for you to believe I, it? They don't need prison tats. Yeah. But the fact is, I think, yeah, I kind of agree with you that mm -hmm. this is one-off, you won't see it. It's going to be yeah. challenging for them, let's not mince words. Right. But, you know, they are undervalued and let's see how actually they, they perform. But just to bring right. it all home, right? So we had two stocks with momentum today. First one is Johor Tin. So these guys are actually looking at a remarkable recovery from almost break even to 7 million and they're looking into milk packaging going on beyond the uh, beyond just the tins but unfortunately like we say there are issues with control we have to be very uh, consistent about that looking at pensonic again undervalued yes but you know when you actually boost your earnings from uh, land by what it got land sales it doesn't mean fundamentally anything has changed